What's up, fam? It's your boy, Heaven Hollywood. Who else? Back on IE Network. This is the Heaven Hollywood Report. And let's get to it. Shout out to my sponsor. In case you didn't know, that's itydk.blog. Make sure you check them out on all mobile devices in the world wide web. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss one video. Let's go. We're going to start it off with your girl, T. Swizzle. And as I told you, <laughs> and as it was told to you on, in case you didn't know, Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey are seeing each other. She was spotted today at the, um, the, the Kansas City Chiefs game, you know, against the uh, Chicago Bears, and she is up there in the press box with Mama Kelsey, right next to Travis Kelsey's mom. So she, you know, she's cheering when Travis Kelsey uh, finally caught a touchdown in the fourth quarter. Uh, Mahomes hit him, and he scored a touchdown. Taylor's up there chest bumping with people. She's saying, let's effing go, you know, they were spotted leaving together, um, you know, on, in Travis's car. They, they left together, jumped in Travis's car. You know, here's pictures of them around Kansas City. So it looks as though these two are an item. Now, of course, some spokespeople put out, oh, Taylor was uh, just thought this was a nice uh, way to enjoy her Sunday She's focused on her friends and work. And, of course, she wasn't going to turn down this invite. He invited her out to the game. Of course, she's not going to turn down the invite. Uh, and she felt that that was a nice way to spend her Sunday. Nice nice uh, PR response. <laughs> but we know what the deal is. So let me know down below. Are y'all here for it? Travis, you notice know, Travis took the beard off. I guess the beard is for the black chicks. <laughs> I guess the beard's for the sisters. He he took the beard off when he dating the white girls. <laughs> Let me know, man. I'm I'm here for it. I think Travis Kelsey and, and and Taylor Swift is a nice couple. I think they balance each other. Travis is, you know, he is definitely non-confrontational. He's just a chill dude. So, and Taylor, since you're not allowed to smash any black guys, you know, you can at least smash a wigger. <laughs> Let me know down in the comments what y'all think. Well, moving on, another day on another YG Entertainment and Black Paint rumor shut down um, so as we all know, Blackpink's con seven year exclusive contract is up. It was up in August, but they were still on tour and the tour did not end, I believe, until September 18th. On that day, it was slated that there was going to be an announcement. Now, around September 12th or 13th, there was a rumor that, um, only Blackpink Lisa was not going to re-sign her contract with YG Entertainment and that she had decided to go with another management company. So that rumor went on for like a day or so and then all of a sudden YG comes out and says, uh, the, nothing has been discussed, you know, nothing has been, you know, confirmed or denied. We are still in negotiations. Now, some more rumors about Jenny and Jazu come out and it stated that they both, you know, have will have individual agencies. So YG lets those rumors circulate and then once again they come out and say, Oh, you know, uh, YG Entertainment shuts down report claiming Black Pink Chizu and Jenny will each establish a one man agency and reaffirms that the group's contract renewal is still being negotiated. What is taking them so long? My thing is, if it's taking this long, 
the members of Blackpink are, are either one or two things. They're shaking them down for more money and or they're not coming back or they're just going to say no. Here's what I'm hearing behind the scenes that's going to happen. Blackpink, um, with the exception of Rosé, Rosé is the only one that se that seemed to be with coming back to YG Entertainment. You know, according to, her, according to sources, she really doesn't have too big of an issue with them. The other three girls, they want their own. They want Black Pete to continue, but they want their own uh, agency to handle outside stuff. This way, YG Entertainment will only be responsible for black pink issues, all right? But these girls are now branching out. They're getting all getting into their own things, including Rosé. I hope Rosé decides to do it as well. But Jenny, Jenny and Lisa especially, they are getting that, you know, they have a lot of, they, they are the ones, those, those two are the ones that have the most uh, deals going on outside of Blackpink. Jazu also ha also has some things as well, but it's mainly Jenny and Lisa outside of Blackpink. Lisa pro will probably be, be the most successful solo artist out of the four girls. But Jenny has a lot of things popping, so does Lisa, and they want their own agents. Remember all the stuff that was going on there was rumors that Jenny was getting a lot of stuff shut down by Y G Entertainment. They were shutting a lot of things down, right? So they want their. This is what I'm hearing. They want their own separate agency for outside stuff, and then they will sign with Y G for black pink stuff. So this is what um. This is the situation, and this is why this negotiation is taking so long. So, hopefully, we will have answers soon. Um, the black black pink members, they're in the driver's seat. They have all the leverage. They have all the leverage. You know, so they can pretty much tell YG Entertainment, listen, you want us back? It's four of us. You know, cut the check for $100 million dollars. For the four of us, and then we're going to have outside um, agency. We're going to have an outside agency to handle other stuff, right? So we're going to keep you posted, but that's what I'm hearing is going on, and that's why the negotiations are taking so long. And finally, it was night two in Houston, and Beyonce brings Megan Thee Stallion out again for her second performance. Same amount of time as the first one, about 60 seconds. But just think what Megan Thee Stallion has, has accomplished. Remember, Beyonce, was, you know, her and her mother always loved Beyonce. And her mother said, one day you're going to meet Beyonce. I just know it. And now look, she's on stage with Beyonce. So just think about what Megan's gone through, lost all of her support system. And now she is on stage with the queen of music and she's telling her she loves her. She's proud of her. Let me tell you something. You wouldn't be able to tell me nothing. There, there would be nothing a hater could tell me after this. If this doesn't make Megan stronger, I don't know what will. And she's already in conversation with Beyonce behind the scenes because Beyonce and Jay-Z are, are, are who I heard told, you know, helped her through this new social media phase where they said, you need to take a page out of our book. We don't get on social media. We use social media for to promote. And sometimes they don't even do that. But they said the most you should do is post something or promote something. You know, it's going to probably come a time when Megan's going to probably unfollow everybody. I wouldn't be shocked. But um, she's not on social very much anymore. She comes on it, you know, to post her stuff and promote. And, 
you know, Megan should have no issue with haters then because if Beyonce tells me she loves me. And then tonight she said she did that. Imagine hearing all the things from Beyonce and then letting a hater with 30 followers get you upset. So we're still looking forward to Megan's new music. She said she told Billboard she got something coming soon. I can't wait. You think Beyonce will be on her new project? The next project she comes out with, do you think Beyonce will do another record with Megan Thee Stallion? Because they had great, great chemistry on Savage. Well, can't wait to find out. It's your boy Heaven Hollywood for the IE Network. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with your friends.